In this video, we will solve the problem about the vertical parabolic curve, specific on symmetrical curve. Okay, because we have two uh, types of curve: we have symmetrical and we have unsymmetrical. Okay. So, their differences are: for symmetrical curve, we have only one curve or one parabola. We consider only one parabola. While for unsymmetrical curve, uh, we are considering combination of curves or combination of parabola, either two or more curves. Okay, so in most common cases in board exam, uh, we only encounter symmetrical curve. So uh, let's take symmetrical curve first, then learn and enjoy this video, and let's take sample problem. The back and forward tangent of a vertical summit parabolic curve for 80 meters long are 4.6% and negative 2.6% respectively. If the elevation of its summit is 235 meters, find the elevation of PT. Okay. So how do we do this? First, uh, let's draw the curve and let's know the properties of the curve first. Uh, for us to solve the problem about this okay. so uh, we have 4.6 percent that is a back tangent since that is positive that will be going up then we have a forward tangent and um, that is negative 2.6 percent so from this point of intersection that will be going down because of this positive and negative sign okay it will connect a curve that is and from here to another end point so, okay so ito yung PC ng curve natin and PC is a point of curvature or that is the point where it, the roadway starts to curve okay now this will be the PT so ito yung nahanap PT is point of tangency and that will be the point where the curve or of the roadway um, will end okay and so, itong vertical curve ito, that is a roadway or daanan, okay? And nakatingin tayo sa side view dyan. Okay, unlike, uh, unlike sa horizontal curve, uh, we are looking at the top view. Dito naman, is nakatingin tayo in side view. Okay? Now, ito yung property niya. No? PC is always at the left side of our drawing. Now, PT is always at the right side. And the back tangent is always originating from PC okay? either going up or going down then the forward tangent is always going towards the PT so that's the property okay? next um, it is stated that the length of the parabolic curve that is 480 meters so take note that the length of the curve is measured horizontally okay? that is measured horizontally so, the elevation of its summit is 235 meters. So, summit is uh, the point where the highest point of the curve is located. Okay? Or that is the peak point of the roadway. So, ito yung road, ito yung peak point niya. So, summit that is going up yung roadway natin. Huh? Then, that is elevated at 235 meters. Okay? Now, uh, at the summit, um, we will have a grade there, uh, 0%, because if we will put a tangent line at this point, that will be horizontal, okay, the slope is 0. So, this point will be the point of intersection of the tangent. And this is a um, important property of a parabola, okay, um, always remember that um, from point of intersection going horizontal from each end points that, mis that must be a half of the total and that is an important property okay. now hinahanap dito is the elevation of PT given that ang elevation ng summit is 2 to 5 meters okay. so um, how do we solve this so, given that we have elevation at this highest point at hinahanap yung PT 
So we must have a difference of elevation of that two points. And for us to solve the elevation of PT, okay, because we all know that the elevation is uh, measured vertically. Okay. So ano yung gagamitin natin dito? So we will use the gray diagram for our solution. Okay, ito yan. So let's draw the gray diagram according to the givens. Okay. So first, look at the grade at PC that is 4.6% so positive now we will connect that to the grade at PT that is negative 2.6% just connect the two points no? so that will be our grade diagram okay. ano bang ibig sabihin ng grade diagram ang okay. um, grade down ng tangent line at every points ng ating curve um, is, change, is changing linearly kaya naging triangular form ito, yung dalawa. So, always remember, no, for these problems, um, at ang um, grade diagram natin is magiging triangular talaga. Okay? So, what is the principle of the grade diagram? I'll take note, um, serve this, at this point, uh, we have zero grade connecting that to the curve, so it will have a zero grade also. So, ito yung principle, huh? The projected area of the grade diagram enclosed between two points of the, in the curve is equal to the difference of the elevation of that point. So, what that does mean? So, for example, um, we want to know the elevations of PT and PC. I mean, the difference of elevation between PT and PC. So, it is stated that the projected area of the grade diagram enclosed between two points in the curve is equals to the area okay so then uh, we want to know the difference of elevation of that two points um, let's say this is point two this is point one so just project that in the in the gray diagram so the elevation of that a difference of elevation of that points is just area of this gray diagram okay so that is one half since that is triangle one half of base times height that is the gray um, plus add just add all the areas no? plus one half of another this base times height that is negative 2.6 percent and take note we must uh, consider this side convention okay so gonna talk about uh, uh, yung uh, principle niya. now um, we want to know the elevation of this point so syempre binigay yung elevation at the summit um, all we want to know is the um, their difference in elevation. Okay, let's assume that as variable h. Okay. From this uh, from this figure, we can say that the difference in elevation of PT and the summit is equals to h. Okay, um, that is point two and this is point one. So, so we must know first these uh, dimensions, no? So let's write and um, elevation of point of tangency minus elevation of summit that is 235 meters must be equal to h okay so it is safe to say um, uh, when we write difference in elevation uh, we must um, equate that um, um, right minus left always put right minus left okay um, because baga matter ito sa h natin kasi always safe to say that difference elevation right minus left tayo okay uh, plus uh, katulad kanina we want to know the elevation of PT and PC difference in elevation so that is right minus left then, okay? uh, because um, we draw this gray diagram from left tayo kasi so always use the right minus left that is for safe solution okay First, we will uh, we must get this x value of x and value of this uh, uh, dimensions um, because we know that this h is just equals to this area, okay? Because this h is difference of elevation of these two points. Now we must project that to the gray diagram. So then the area of this is just the value of h, okay? So, by ratio proportion, uh, we can solve x, this value, no? that is x over negative uh, 2.6, so 
in ratio proportion uh, we must absolute the values because it is considered as distance that is equals to L minus X that is 480 minus X divided by 4.6 percent okay so kaya na lang yung algebra dyan, and that will um, come up to 173.33 test now after we solve this value we can solve the difference in elevation Your, uh, that is the area of this triangle okay one half of base x times negative 2.6 percent will come up to this value negative 2.253 now following this first equation we made that is uh, we will come up to this answer okay is 232.746 meters so that's it for sample problem 1 so ito lang no? take note all the um, properties of it parabolic curve ah, dapat alam natin yan to solve the problem okay. so take note din dito na stationing of a curve the a parabolic curve is measured horizontally okay. that is not all um, that is not along the curve, the stationing. That is along the horizontal line. Okay, so ito yun Ito yung pinaka the best principle. The projected area of the gray diagram enclosed between two points in the curve. So, sinabi, in the curve. Dapat yung elevation, uh, points mo is nasa curve na wala sa labas. Okay, I hope you learn. Um, you understand my uh, my presentation now let's move to sample problem two. Okay. a downgrade of 3.2 percent needs a rising rate so downgrade that means going down so uh, i put a negative value here so hindi naka-specify negative dito but we have downgrade so that must be negative needs a rising rate so pay task that is 4.6 percent okay at a station 73 plus 180 um, elevation at 998 meters okay so this point must be the point of intersection okay a side curve 440 meters long connects the grade lines from a at the downgrade a at the downgrade, so and ito siya, ito yung downgrade, so A must be here to B at the upgrade no? so ito yung curve natin, so ang daan natin is papuntang pababa din papuntang pataas okay, that will be the parabolic curve so it has a length of 440 meters long so horizontal yan then take note that must be half of the length that points in that uh, measurement okay so find the elevation of b so ito yung inahanap elevation of b so ito yung point of tangency so how will we solve the elevation of b so first uh, we must know what is the given so if um, we want to know the elevation this point, syempre dapat meron isang given na elevation rate. So, ang given elevation is yung sa PI. Okay? So, take note, itong elevation na to is wala siya sa curve. Ang elevation na given is not in the curve. So, we can't use the gray diagram because gray diagram, um, the two points must be in the curve. Okay? So, paano ba natin iso? So, observe this. So, we can create a right triangle at this portion. Okay? Um, if we will let this as H, isolating that, so we can create a right triangle that has a measurement of this, that is L over 2, that is two, uh, 440 divided by 2, that is 220 meters. Okay? Um, by observing the figure, um, the elevation of B is just equals to the elevation of this PI plus H. Okay? If we can solve this H, yabu na yung elevation of B. Okay. So first, we can say that the elevation of B minus 
elevation of pi which is 998 that is equal to h a. so uh, we can solve h by slope uh, we, um, we must say that this slope um, h over 220 is equal to the grade of this line because the grade is equal to the slope h over 220 that is a rise over run from trigonal, trigonometry now we can solve h here that is 10.12 meters so following the equation above we can have the elevation of b as this value okay so we observe that uh, we cannot use always the grade diagram so um, pinaka technique dito is um, always find a right triangle and a drawing or always make a right triangle ito yung pinaka the best solution always kahit sa mga geometry problems in mathematics or triangle problem always find a right triangle okay so that's it um, dalawang problem lang muna yung isolve natin um, if you uh, if you want for me to solve the problems regarding um, problems relative to the board CE board exams okay, just comment down below and we will try if we can answer that okay. thank you and God bless and don't forget to like and subscribe for more uploads